Welcome to another video from Play Simple Chords. In this video, I'm going to go over modal harmony part two, where, where I'll be talking about mode types. Um, and they're basically two different types. There's a major mode type and then there's minor mode type. And then the Locrian, which is the seventh mode, um, is a minor mode, but it has a minor seven with a flat five. And it's also the uh, beginning of the development of the altered chord scale. Now, there are two additional minor scales that are beyond the scope of this lesson, but I'm going to mention them here. Uh, one is the harmonic minor and the other one is the melodic minor. The melodic minor generates a useful scale, which is on the seventh degree, and that's the altered scale. And that's a dominant scale that we'll talk about in a subsequent lesson. Now, if you look at the minor scales and the color scheme that I have on the chart, you'll see that the Dorian has uh, a pattern that repeats on the second half of the scale. The first half of the scale is one, two, flat, three, four. And then the second half of the scales is five, six, flat, seven, one. So that pattern is the same as, as uh, the first uh, four no tones in that scale. And then if you look at the uh, Phrygian scale, it's one flat two, three, four. And if you go up to five, it's five flat six, seven, one. So that, pa that pattern of intervals is the same. Now, if you look at the uh, Aeolian, the first half is a Dorian. And then the second half would be a Phrygian. So it's Excuse me. Let's do that again. So it's a combination. The Aeolian is a combination of the Dorian first half and the Phrygian second half. And the Phrygian, the first half and the second half are the same. The intervals, just like it is for the Dorian, the first half and the second half of the scale, the intervals and the shape is the same. So it's one, two, flat, three, four, and then five, flat, six, flat, seven, one. So, so those intervals are the same. So when you look at the circular chart, uh, which I introduced in the first in this series on uh, chord progression basics. We talked about chords moving in, a, in fourths after the uh, first movement from F major to uh, B major. Uh, all the chords move in fourths back around the circle till you get to C. Now, that, if you look at that movement, it's generally moving from major to minor. And it's either a major to a major chord, such in the, uh, as in the case of a C major going to F major, or it's a major to a minor, um, like uh, F minor, or F major going to uh, B minor, or um, a minor to a major, like uh, D minor going to uh, G major, or a minor to a minor, which is... Uh, E minor going to A minor, or A minor going to D minor, or B minor going to E minor, that kind of thing. Let's take a look at the chords that are produced by the modes. We understand the uh, diatonic chords, and we're, we're going to use the diatonic chords to the seventh note. So we have a C major on the one, D minor seven on the two, E minor 7 on the 3, F major 7 on the 4, G dominant 7 on the 5, A minor 7 on the 6, and the B minor 7 flat 5 on the 7, and then we're back to the root chord. Now, when applying the modes to chord substitution or chord replacement as passing chords or additional harmony, there's um, 
two things that are happening when you look at the modes. One, it's either introducing changes in the chord type, meaning going from major to minor or augmented or diminished, or changes in the chord roots that are outside of the parent scale. In this case, it would be either uh, raising or flattening or sharpening one of the notes uh, that are in the scale but and making it outside of the scale. Uh, that's easier said, uh, or I should say easier, easier seen if you look at the uh, table in front of you. The Lydian uh, C major uh, Lydian, based on C as the parent scale, produces an F sharp minor 7 flat 5. That note is not in the uh, major scale. And as a result of the intervals created by this mode, you end up with that sharp 7 flat 5. And likewise, using those intervals and, and building the mode, a mixolydian mode on C, you end up with another chord that's outside of the scale, and that's a B flat major 7. So let's take a look at that uh, and see how it sounds uh, if we apply it to a very basic chord progression, one that we, we uh, hear a lot in gospel. One, six, two, five, and one. Okay, in this case, we're going to add the F sharp major to, and it's going to replace the uh, two chord. So we start it off so you can hear how it would sound without it. One, six, two, five, and one. One, six, two, five, one. One, six, two, five, one. So that's how the F sharp minor seven flat five sounds used in the C major scale. And in this case, it's used as a replacement for uh, the D minor chord uh, heading back to five. And if you look at it, it's the F sharp is a half step above G. So you're basically adding a, a half step passing chord to that by replacing the D with the F sharp and then going to G and then back to one. Okay, now let's take a look at the Mixolydian mode for C. And in this case, the C Mixolydian mode generates a B flat major seventh chord. That chord um, is not in the parent scale. All the other tones in the C Mixolydian scale are diatonic to the major scale, except for uh, B flat. So we're going to use the same one, six, two, five, one chord progression, and then we're going to use the B flat so we can see what the Mixolydian uh, chord sounds like. Uh, the B flat major seven chord in the key of uh, C major. So we're going to go one, six, two, five, one. And then we're going to uh, input the B flat major chord. One, six. So we use that B flat major seven going to the five and then to the one. Now that was the uh, major mode types. Now let's look at the uh, minor mode types. So for the Dorian mode, the C Dorian mode, which would be the C minor uh, scale, uh, Dorian C minor scale uh, introduces or produces two tones that are not in the uh, parent scale. So all the other bass notes are in the parent scale except for the third, which is E flat, and the seventh, which is uh, B flat. And we just use the B flat major um, because it's also uh, in the um, Mixolydian mode. It's the seventh mode of the Mixolydian mode. So the new chord in this example would be the 
E flat major. Now we're going to use a slightly different chord progression. We're going to go one, and then we're going to go three, and then four, and then back to one. Only in this case, we're going to use uh, the E flat tone in between. So we'll go Listen to that again. Now, Dorian is, is a very popular mode to do songs in and to borrow chords from. And if you, if you listen to this chord progression, you have heard it in a song um, done by... Um, Actually, I'm not sure who did this song. I think it was one of the Beatles uh, that did this. Yeah, it was. It, it goes, and it's not, and it's, and it's not too for goodbye. Um, something like that. But it uses the one to it back to the one and if somebody remembers who that who did that song and what the name of it is you can post it in the comments it would help uh, others to identify the the use of that e flat major in the context of a c major scale as part of the borrowing a chord from the dorian mode Okay, now let's look at the Phrygian mode of C. So again, we're talking about chords based on the note C, um, where C is the parent scale, and C is also going to be the, the Phrygian mode based on the note C. And in this case, we see that we get one new chord that hasn't previously been discussed, and that is the D-flat major. The E flat we talked about in the Dorian, the B flat we talked about in the Mixolydian, and the um, A flat is the other chord that is generated in the Frisian mode. So let's first tackle the um, D flat major, and we're going to use our same uh, chord progression. We're going to start off with the C. One, six. this case we're going to use the uh, the D flat as a replacement for the five so it's one six two five one let's do that again one six two five one and in this example it's a uh, a two chord being used from the Phrygian as a uh, passing chord to the uh, C. You can see that the D flat is a half step above C. Now let's take a look at the Aeolian chords that are created using C as a bass tone and using the Aeolian mode. Um, the new chord is the A flat major. I didn't talk about it in the Phrygian mode because it's it's uh, one that's in the Aeolian mode, um, and I want to talk about it there rather than the Phrygian. The A flat major is the sixth tone of the Aeolian, and if we use our uh, same one six two five, you'll see that the A flat major. see that the A-flat major um, is a half step above G, but we're going to use it to replace G and not go to G. So we'll have one, 
six, two, five, one, six, two, five. We're having the A flat and then to the one. So one, six, two. So the new chords that are not diatonic based on the modes for the key of C, using C as the parent scale and then making the um, related modes based on the tone C, we end up with an F sharp minor seven flat five, uh, three different B flat chords, B flat major, B flat minor seven and B flat seven. Then we have an E flat major seven and an E flat seven, and the the others are major sevenths: the D flat major seventh, and then the G flat major seventh. So these are chords with non-diatonic roots that derive from the modes that can be used as uh, passing chords or substitute chords, depending on the progression and the in the song that you're going to apply them to. You should be able to see that there are multiple ways of using this information to generate new chords. Uh, and then there are some rules that apply generally across the board that will help you organize this uh, as you approach using uh, modes and uh, the circular uh, chord progressions that were talked in the, the lesson two lessons ago. These modes can be used to create half step approaches from above or below to a target chord. And that's just one method of uh, chord substitution or, or, or using passing chords is to create a situation where you're approaching chord from a half step above or a half step below. And then you also saw an example of where you can actually use these mode chords to replace chords in the progression. Um, all of that will be expanded upon in future lessons. So for now, I hope you found this helpful and uh, look forward to presenting more information to you in future lessons. Thank you for watching my tutorials. Simple chords are the building blocks for making advanced chords. And I hope you find that these tutorials are helpful to you on your musical journey. Please like, subscribe, and share these tutorials with others who have a desire to learn how to play music at the piano. I look forward to sharing other tutorials 